The Earth is over 4 billion years old and is constantly changing. One example of a process going on within the Earth are earthquakes. Earthquakes are mainly caused by movement in the Earth's outer layer called the crust. The crust is thought to be made up of large, solid rock pieces known as tectonic plates which are always moving. Some plates move apart from one another, some slide past each other, and some dive beneath other plates. Most earthquakes occur at plate boundaries. The plates are always slowly moving, but sometimes they get stuck at their edges due to friction. Pressure builds up. When the pressure on the edge of the plate becomes greater than the friction, there is an earthquake. This releases energy in the form of waves which travel through the Earth's crust and cause the shaking that we feel. Earthquakes are very common. They happen all the time. Most are too small to notice, but some can cause significant destruction. The point where the earthquake occurs is called the epicenter. In powerful earthquakes, the shaking can be felt thousands of miles from the epicenter. Earthquakes which occur along plate boundaries in the ocean can cause tsunamis. Tsunamis are huge waves which can cause great destruction when they reach land. One of the most active earthquake zones is the Ring of Fire, which circles the Pacific Ocean. This zone includes the mountainous western coast of North and South America and parts of Asia. Scientists use seismographs to study earthquakes. They record the shock waves produced during a quake. The strength of an earthquake can be measured in different ways. The most common is the Richter scale and measures the energy released by an earthquake. The Mercalli scale calculates the damage caused. The movement of tectonic plates also helps to explain continental drift, the movement of the continents. Continental drift leads to the formation and breakup of continents. A supercontinent called Pangaea began breaking apart around 270 million years ago. As Pangaea split, the pieces gradually drifted to form the continents and land masses we know today. We will learn more about the Earth and its behavior in separate videos. Subscribe so you don't miss them. Thank you for watching.